unwelcome drones hovering around people's homes. Last year, Lincoln police received three separate complaints of unmanned aerial vehicles coming a little too close for comfort. We have the right to privacy. But Senator Carol Blood says her LB 693 is different than other failed attempts that tried to impose state regulations on drones. We made sure that when we tackled this, this statute, that it was really about public safety. Her bill grants civil immunity to law officers and emergency responders if they damage a drone interfering in their duties. And it makes it a crime to weaponize drones, fly over prisons or a cordoned off crime scene, as well as use a drone to peep or spy on people in their homes. It extends a 300 foot no fly trespassing zone over private property without the owner's permission. We worked on the research for this bill for well over a year. She believes the proposed restrictions do not infringe on anyone's rights and will not interfere with legitimate commercial drone pilots who have been certified and regulated by the FAA. If a professional pilot is supposed to be on a property doing a job, they can still be there. But others believe some of the provisions fly into dangerous territory. There was a Supreme Court case uh, in the late 1940s that said aerial trespassing has no place in our modern society. But here we are in 2018 talking about aerial trespassing again. Matt Wade of UNL's Drone Journalism Lab says there are already existing privacy and disturbing the peace laws that address bad drone operators. We should beef up those mechanisms to deal with the threat and not worry about how it's accomplished. It may also make it more difficult for some investigative journalism. This video provides just a sample of what I saw. Mark DeVries has produced several documentaries on waste pits and factory farms. You're looking at a lake of toxic pig feces and urine. It is important to be able to fly overhead of the facilities in order to document, for example, the scale of these giant open pits. And with more drones in the air, the more possibility for complaints. There's a lot of good guys that use this kind of technology, but it doesn't take bad guys a, lo a long time to figure out how to use it as well. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.